have it. Wonderful dig off the pool of Katya Stamen. Great dig into the net by Racist Schoon. And we have a phenomenal rally. Pavin going to choose to set rather than option. And Humana Paredes puts it away with a brilliant swing to the back line. Pool dig by Katya Stam and a wonderful one-hand left-handed stabby dig by Racist Schoon, sending it over for Melissa Humana Paredes. Side, making her decision based on the defense on the other side. Great job by Canada to keep that alive. No way! Melissa finding an angle that does not even exist in the world of physics. With a nice dig up. Off the hands of the block, so this has to go over. But instead, it goes directly into the waiting. Sarah Pavan is all over that. One-handed as well. She saw how good it was. That was hers for the taking. Has a look, sees the art. This time from the left side, sharp. Mills on that is again. And then Sarah Pavan right now. They're working in Antonelli. And that's a big block that time from Sarah Pavan. It's three. Good trouble here. Easy play for Pavan. It's an opportunity. And she makes it across the and there is the sweet hands of Melissa Humana in the world by her peers on the Volleyball World Beach Pro Tour everywhere. Beautiful set from Racist Schoon, but a big block from Sarah Papton and Sagan and Chapman and Jiren all morning long. What a dig from Racist Schoon, sending it back over. Well done by the Netherlands to keep this play alive, and Melissa Humana Paredes puts that one away. running a little fake back set to a front set and Pavin is not confused and it is Pavin. We back to just three for the Netherlands. You can see that Skoon took that look. She saw the open space, the Pavin's hands. Pavin with a vicious swing down the seam and maybe a little bit of stare down. Match is likely you have right, right, right. to head into the qualifications. A lot on the line. My Heavy yeah. swing from Melissa, and again. Opportunity for Brazil into a huge block in front of Nebraska, where she's like opposite. Massive block again. Gone, an ace serve. Is there anything she cannot do? The back set coming. Great dig down the line. Brazil with an opportunity. She's dug. Melissa is the one to get it off the head. Oh, good grab. Great read. This time, Sarah Pavin there to shut it down. There, yeah, Sarah Pavin. You said that earlier. Looking through the net. Not one little glimpse, really. Opportunity for Canada. Is it a little over the net? Another one handed dig from Rebecca. Are you kidding me? This time, Mel leaves no question on that swing. Rebecca's doing absolutely everything. So, Canada must be playing so some kind of patterns of play that things with the service angles that we're seeing. Changed too much Canada and what they're doing in the second set in terms of putting things around the pressure. This rally here, Mel having to work hard. Chess on the world floor trying to figure out where to go, which events to play. There's an excellent play been working towards the line. Good save and set opportunity here for Sarah Pavan and Melissa. Great pull dig from Toledo. Coach right. Now this one's got to go over its touch. It's going to have a turn. And Rebecca brings out the left hand and Sarah Pavin is not. I mean, in a day where everybody's trying to hand set, Brazil is still bump setting. This match to three. And no one up for Sarah Pavin in that is the rest of the players making the read to the line here. Rightly so. 
Canada with a good strong start followed up by an ace. And it went into maybe just the wind put it right down. For Brazil, good serve. Right, well dug. Into the block and again I feel as though Pavin's going to be a story of this match. There's always that risk reward ratio we talk about when you're back at the service line. Exactly why, because Brazil putting pressure right back on Canada, but Canada the ones to turn it around. Standing up, short shot, and then to put it away with such a hang. 15-10. Oh, Melissa gets one down the middle. Still with a, a hefty advantage on Brazil's side, but defenses like that are going to help. Set up for Duda. She has a chance. Oh, another great defense. Melissa is on fire, and wow, it converts for Canada. <laughs> I think she could start clapping for that day. What a so high at the moment. Wow, oh. what a block. <laughs> it just caught it. Oh, man. Strong serve as well. Duda has a chance down the line. She's dug again. Melissa, cross court. Heavy hit. An opportunity for Canada. Oh, but it's still up. Great work by Brazil to keep it alive. And finally, Canada put it away. What a fight for the Canadians. Oh, great defense. Could this be the one? Melissa with a chance. And she gets it cross court. 3 2 for Canada. Oh, lovely block. A huge stuff block from Sarah Pop. And to Duda. What can she do differently this time? Not much because Sarah Pavin is all over it. So for Canada to just stay focused, keep their head in the game, and now they have the five point advantage in the third. And a dig from Melissa. Cross court, very strong. And that point again. It's all started with the dig again. And what a way to put it away. Even if they wouldn't have that net touch. Great start. Wow. It's to the brew early in this women's final. Goodness me. Well, as they always say, let the volleyball do the talking. Oh, touch. Brilliant. Oh, it's unbelievable stuff. And Pavan finishes it with another roof block. Lovely shot. Wonderful control from the list. 11 five. This race to 15. And there we go. Brazil losing patience, trying to hit their way out of trouble. What a great strategy for Canada to go after Barbara right now and get into the point. Championship point. Seven of them. Happen. Serves Barbara, races into the net, gets the block. It's not down. Oh, it is now. And Canada have done it. Second tournament of the season. Second Elite 16 appearance. And the 2019 World Champions pick up their first victory.